Quick concepts and controls. Number one, the closed loop transfer function. Here's a classical feedback loop where the air signal is input to the controller, which outputs the control signal, which affects the plant, producing a response output, which is fed back and compared against the command input. The closed loop system response involves the command input R and the response Y. The ratio of Y to R is called the closed loop transfer function. It is characterized with sinusoidal input, where the control objective is for Y to be approximately R up to a certain frequency. In the time domain at a single frequency, we can compare the command input and response output to visualize how well the closed loop system is performing. But it's helpful to analyze the closed loop transfer function in the frequency domain. We see that Y is G times K times E. And from the junction, E is R minus Y. So then we can solve for Y over R to obtain the closed loop transfer function, determined as a function of the controller and plant transfer functions. Let's determine the closed loop transfer function for this first order plant with a proportional gain controller. Substituting in, canceling terms, we arrive at the closed loop transfer function for this example. Question, for what values of K is the closed loop system stable? Evaluating the closed loop transfer function for a gain of one over a range of frequencies, we obtain the frequency response plot. If the system is tracking, then the magnitude of the output is equal to the magnitude of the input, or the system response is on the zero dB line. This system at low frequency behaves as K over K plus one, since S is small. So if K equals one, the low frequency response is one half such that the output response is half the amplitude of the command input. As frequency increases, the response output is attenuated because the closed loop transfer function is strictly proper. It behaves as K over S with a slope of minus 20 decibels per decade. As magnitude rolls off, tracking quality becomes insufficient. The frequency up to which tracking is acceptable is referred to as bandwidth. The attenuation of the closed loop response for increasing frequency of the command input can be observed also in the time domain. The command input here is a chirp signal, a sinusoid with increasing frequency and time. Note the reduction in the response output magnitude as time increases. Now, Here's the closed loop frequency response for increasing gain values. At low frequency, as the gain increases, the magnitude of the closed loop response approaches one, that is, tracking error decreases. Simultaneously, as K increases, we observe that the roll-off occurs at higher frequencies, that is, larger gain is associated with higher bandwidth. These qualities indicate a higher performance closed loop controller with increasing gain, but this typically comes with the cost of reduced robustness. In summary, we've derived the closed loop transfer function assuming a single input, single output plant. We saw how the transfer function could be used to determine the range of gains for closed loop stability, and we also observed how the frequency response plot of the closed loop transfer function was insightful to closed loop performance.